Hello everybody, it is N, and today I'm going to be doing another book review, and I'm going to be reviewing the book Insomnia by Stephen King. So, this book is one of his biggest, actually, I believe it's like his third big, no, it's maybe his fourth or fifth biggest book of all time, and it's pretty massive. The page count comes right into the uh, 780, so it's a long one, and I read it over the course of a month and seven days. Now, the reason for that would be because I, I, I took, I had a different copy originally, this copy with no dust jacket, so I was intending on getting that anyway, and I ended up spilling a ton of water on it, like a lot, like look at, look at, look at that, like I can't even, I can barely, can you see that? Yeah, like the entire thing is soaked, and it's too many pages for me to actually dry out, so it was gone if, uh, Anybody who wants to say, call me. I got an extra copy. It's, it's water filled, but you know. Uh, and then I thought, you know, I'm, I can't read that. It's all wet. It took days to get dry. So, what I did in the meantime was I went out and I borrowed Mistborn from the library and I read through that. And now I'm back to Insomnia. I stopped at the uh, basically the halfway point. Uh, so I did. I didn't stop. You know, I wasn't like, oh, I hate this book. But the midpoint, it was a little, getting a little bit slow anyway. So I enjoyed the uh, Mistborn book during the course of the thing but if we're getting back to this book insomnia by stephen king is a really really giant book with the basic premise of ralph roberts he's an old man and he's starting to not sleep he's starting to wake up earlier and earlier every morning and in the middle of the night he starts seeing weird stuff not just in the middle of the night either it's sort of through throughout the day he does it as well but usually it's focused in the night and then he starts to see really weird things like bald doctors coming out of a person's house and then the person i won't tell you actually spoilers so don't worry about that um i'll have a spoiler section at the end so if you want to see just the spoilers click that uh no don't click that just go to that or go to the um click click the timestamp in the description to skip over to that time or just go to that time i'll be talking about spoilers there um also one more thing that i want to add Follow me on Goodreads, guys. I got a Goodreads account, and you can see what I'm reading, when I'm reading, how far I am. You can recommend me books. You can add me as your friend. I'm happy to do all that kind of stuff. Uh, just basically follow me on Goodreads if you want to see what's up, and you want to follow me. And ugh. But I finished this book fairly recently, actually. I finished it just three days ago, and I'm happy to get on to reviewing the man, because it's, it's, it's a fairly good book. Without spoilers, I'll start off by saying that it is a very slow book, a sluggish book towards the middle. Uh, I would call it maybe at the halfway point to the three-fourths point. Uh, there is some interesting stuff that does go down, but for me, even those parts just felt a little bit sluggish. They weren't very interesting. The ending sequence was the interesting part, but just around the middle, man, that, that was just, I, I feel like it should have been rewritten a ton a bunch of stuff could be cut out and condensed and i i i didn't like it that much a lot of people like this book a lot they call it a uh, four out of five or five out of five book but for me it's just not that good it's it's a good story and i enjoy the really interesting uh talk about colors and all the interesting stuff that goes on the night and, and the struggles of what he's going through but in the end this stuff, as much as it's beautiful and interesting, it's not fast enough to keep me interested through the book, and so I, I wasn't hugely a fan of it. It was okay enough, but I didn't I didn't care for it more than I needed to. It was it was it was a book, and it was like it's one of Stephen King's more bad books. So I wouldn't I I don't like this. The only book that I've really hated from Stephen King is Joyland, man. Like I I appreciate it. it it's a Stephen King book. I cannot rate it lower than a two, but I. I didn't feel anything during it, I didn't care about anything during it. This book, as much as I cared many times more than Joyland, but uh, this book is just too slow for me to care. At some point we get some really good plot twists, so that's some good stuff. Uh, I've talked about the main negative, which is being really, really sluggish. Some more negatives is that I, I don't really see a big character development of this character, so I don't know what the point what the character arc of the of ralph roberts was at the beginning he's the same as as he is in the end at the end he does something really cool but other than that we don't see changes and i, I get i guess that's fair because he's an old man he's already changed maybe we kind of see some flashbacks into his life just a few not that many uh and we kind of see what 
he's changed as maybe a little bit but that's not the main part of the story at all and i don't i don't see any change in the character so i wasn't a fan of the character itself but insomnia does have a really good character it does have really good characters because ralph roberts i feel like i know him very well and i could tell you what he would do at any point and i could you know he's a really good character so is lo lois 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 and so is Lois. Um, they're, they're some solid characters, man. They're really good. The only problem is that they don't have an arc. And that's really unfortunate because I, I would have loved that. I feel like things got a little bit too supernaturally at the end. At the beginning, we had a really strong story of, you know, straight uh, story about this guy. And then at some point, we start going into supernatural stuff. And so the transition happens fairly gradually. The incline is like that and then bam and then the, everything happens and i'm not a fan of that too much i think that if you're gonna have supernatural stuff you gotta prep a little bit more than that but there's not enough prep for me to care about or for me to be unsurprised by it i was really surprised i was like wait a second this isn't important is it and then it ends up being important and i don't know what's up with that uh it's really weird stuff goes down that i'm not very interested in but at the same time it's good enough for me to say it's good. There are absolutely tons of stuff near the ending of the book that make it into some of my favorite things that have ever happened in a Stephen King book period. There's some really interesting stuff that I won't spoil for you, but a lot of this kind of only exists at the end. Plus they're far more toned down than I would have liked. I would have liked it to be a little bit more expanded, you know, giant and awesome, rather than keeping them kind of small and closer to the end. Not really. It's sort of after the halfway point. So, of course, I stopped halfway, and so that's the kind of the point where I, I waited a long time without reading anything, and so that might have gotten into my mind, making me feel like nothing really happened. But I'm reading a lot of these kind of things on Goodreads that people don't like it because it's. Tend to, it tends to be slow and so I, I think that that's what they mean a lot of stuff is not spread out well enough or is not intense enough to grab your attention half the time boy oh boy you know my biggest problem with the book my biggest is huge like I hated this part it's so political oh my god it's so political. like boy you need to calm down Stephen King like my boy right here the entire book is, if you don't know, his books are kind of have an underlying problem going on overall, and then another problem arises, usually, and then that problem ends up connecting to the underlying problem, and that's how they solve it. That's kind of something I've noticed. And man, the underlying problem was so political. Oh my god, and I, I just couldn't, I, every time I read it, I'm like, no, don't say that. Don't say that, because because all the evil people were part of one uh, political side, and all the good people, all these evil people, they're crazy, they're insane, they're killers. They're on the evil side, and the people that are on the good side are all on his political spectrum. So I'm like, boy, I can't read that so much. Uh, it, it just pained me to read it. I hated that. I wish he hadn't done that, because it, it just it hurt me reading the first 500 pages and then reading the last many pages because it's like it's like you don't even know what you're talking about man uh, but if so if you're if you're like that don't read it but you know i got through it i lived it doesn't matter that much but it was just so painful while i was going through it that man i really wish he hadn't done that now insomnia is a very imperative part to the dark tower series which i'm currently uh, my book is not here. I'm currently on the fifth book of um, Wolves of the Kala. I'm going through that right now. Of course, check out on Goodreads. Um, you can see my progress on that as I go along. But that's currently what I'm working on. And, of course, Insomnia connects heavily to that. Because in Insomnia, there's a creature called the Crimson King. Everyone basically knows that already. And, however, I do not know exactly what the Crimson King does in the Dark Tower series. I know that he has appeared. Uh, not really appeared, but has been hinted at throughout the series. However, I haven't seen him yet, so no idea what goes down. But the character itself, the Crimson King in this book should have been expanded more honestly. I didn't know what was going on with him. He just did some random stuff that I didn't get. And then it was really cool what he did, but it was so base level basic. I didn't need to know any of that. Like it didn't 
add anything to the story seeing through seeing all that it was kind of out of nowhere if i just picked up this book without caring about the dark tower or knowing that the crimson king would return in the dark tower i would have been like that's the worst villain ever because he he's not he doesn't he's so weird he doesn't do anything he just shows up shows great power and then stuff happens but not that much very little happens with him he doesn't have an impact on the entire series although he does indirectly not directly and that that's what is really terrible about that character i'm hoping he works out in the dark tower though that would be my basic review of the insomnia book by stephen king so uh, what I'm gonna say is I would rate it in either a two out of five or a three out of five. I think I'll stick with the three out of five because that's what I put down on Goodreads already. Um, my basic notes on that, really slow. The middle and the sort of the first half of the book sort of lags. The beginning of the book is good. The ending of the book is good, but the, in, the middle is just, it's interesting, but it lags far too much. There's that and the main villain is very indirect. He doesn't do anything and the, the character itself is so poorly developed in this book that I absolutely hated that. Also, Ralph was not uh, included in the character arc, so that kind of, that was sad. But, you know, it was a good book overall. It had very strong uh, scenarios and plot devices, very big conflict that occurred, and I enjoyed the somewhat supernatural aspect of it at the end. The beginning, mm, I, I didn't like how that was not distributed properly, but at the ending it was quite interesting i enjoyed that quite a bit at the end so uh that would be my review for the insomnia book uh, if you like this video please click that like button down below and subscribe to see any other stephen king book reviews comment down below to tell me what other stephen king book you want me to review or any other book you want me to review or what movie you want me to review anything let me know what you think in the comment section down below now I'll see you guys later, but if you're still waiting on for the spoiler section, let me get on to that. Boy, the Crimson King was garbage. Oh my god, if you don't know what happened, the entire plot, if I'm spoiling it for you, is gonna be like this, okay? They, Ralph is out and uh, he gets talked to by magical beings and says, Boy, you gotta go save the world because this evil guy is gonna go and beat you up to boom ya you know what i mean he's gonna boom ya with a kamikaze and that's gonna be dangerous so you gotta go stop him okay ralph goes and stops him he teleports boy some somehow i don't know where the tell i don't know where that came from but he teleports into the air beats up the evil guy and fights the crimson king and beats the crimson king who's basically the god of this world if i if i read it correctly Wait, what's going on? It, the ending just doesn't add up whatsoever. It was cool, but it was so inconsistent. I, what kind of garbage is that? He won. He won by poking an earring into the Crimson King's eye, because that always works. That's kind of my main problem with the spoiler review. I, I hate that ending, man. The, the, it doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. It's, it feels like it was, it was just stuffed together, and I just I can't stand that. At the beginning, there's a bunch of stuff that goes down slowly um, that isn't really interesting that great, you know? We go out and talk to this guy at the pharmacy, and although it was fun, you know, it was great, I, I kind of cared about that, it ends up not mattering whatsoever. It just it doesn't make any difference in the story at all. It's just something that he kind of needed to include, but I think that could have just been, you know, pushed right together then a bunch of other stuff too i i don't really i don't get why this book is 700 pages i appreciated the long book it looked cool when i was holding it could not take that thing to school absolutely not i took the other version and i spilled water on it never again never taking a giant book like that again but there's not too much to spoil here that is my basic thing with it uh, i really really loved how clotho and lachesis and boys like that they were really interesting they they did some cool stuff and they were very mysterious and i loved all the little tidbits about them that we learned we picked them up as we went along and i really loved how those beings were um, kind of explained and stuff that's pretty much what i can say in the spoiler review um there's not too much that i can add that's basically it so uh if you have anything that you want to add on to that if you want to say anything to me about the spoiler review make sure you title your comment spoiler click the enter button multiple times so that people will have to click read more and so if they don't want to read more and read the spoilers they won't so just in case anybody's wondering that just yeah keep that in mind um thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below and subscribe for any future stephen king reviews uh, of course let me know again what you want me to review next anything at all i've got this giant book right over here 
that I could review, but I probably won't because it's giant. It's almost 1600 pages. Not getting to that anytime soon. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.